um, next up, our next trailer, J Park, Jew Park, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Chase around some <laughs> Jurassic fun. <sighs> Uh, the dinosaurs in the eyes of a Jew, and these are the same guys that burnt Jesus, yeah. burnt him alive. That's why they're sitting um, in that good Protestant Chris Pratt to save the day. Yeah, because that's where it starts out. It's like him and that ginger whore like at a um, restaurant, right? He's like, oh, what are you dating, guy from the real world, road rules challenges? And they got like 30 of those now. <laughs> He's like, what, what, you dating the guy from Man vs. Food? You always liked a guy who ate, you fucking bitch. He's like, I knew you liked homeless people because you were always watching Bizarre Foods. Now you're banging Zimmerman. Oh. Bruh, his head looks like a hard-boiled egg that you hard-boiled too much. He is a Bizarre Food. Like, like, the, ro- like the, 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 the folds in the back of his head from his egg head. Oh, God. Um, if there was a cannibal yeah. Bizarre Foods, he'd be the first episode. <laughs> Yeah, Chris Pratt's like, oh, yeah, I still talk like a low self-esteem fat white guy. <laughs> That's like, my role. Do my shoes have jets in them in this movie or not? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, and he's basically like, he basically tells the audience, do you think anyone gives a fuck about a jew plot plotline? <laughs> it's written by a Jew. And he owns me, so I'm letting you know it's going to be a good one this time. <laughs> it's going to be a great one. It Basically, he's like, all right, you guys uh, you tried to save the CGI from a made-up island that was going to explore <laughs> more CGI than the killing, wa- the walking CGI. What could go wrong? <laughs> he's like, uh, we're an evil company trying to make the best CGI. <laughs> and look, bitch, I can s- explode some CGI in your face right now if I wasn't Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh, that's the future of porn is CGI yeah. to come. <laughs> and that's what Chris Pratt's basically saying. He's like, dude, come on. Steven Spielberg made me watch him watch him, watch me watch him jerking off five times before this goddamn scene. You're over here bitching about some like that like some guy that forcefully made you come to his room, forcefully made you eat a salad, and he may have forcefully ate your ass. Who cares? You got a nice little present out of it. It felt good, didn't it? I know it did when he did it to me. <laughs> After my diet <laughs> crunches, and so apparently, yeah, the, this the walking CGI was going to get destroyed by a, f- a fake volcano that was exploding more CGI. Um, yeah, and they have to and use CGI some... versus CGI. <laughs> they have Who to use was... CGI to save CGI. <laughs> He'll form a relationship with a, a younger CGI. And then, so they get to the park to like rescue some CGI, and they're like, "Do these animals deserve the same rights as animals in the Hawaiians before them?" Because we only warned the Hawaiians like five minutes before a fucking volcano, because they're probably making meth or breaking into a tourist car somewhere. So like every fuck, right? Every time we warn them, they pray to it, and once it's done erupting, they make fucking tiki statues out of the rock. <laughs> it's like, "Kada, kaze, brada, peanut butter cups, brada, <laughs> poke, leaky, leaky." Oh, that's a good pig, brother. <laughs> the dirty streets is all I need to live, brother. <laughs> and if I... I'm, I'm like, I'm turning into Black Panther as well. That's all I need, brother. And if, if I'm poor, I just rob an ABC store, brother. <laughs> I have a vibranium hula skirt, brother. <laughs> Bro, the, is, why in Hawaii is the only thing, and it's full of Hawaiian meth heads, the ABC store. They're like, yeah, we sell everything from goddamn Pepsi to birds. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they do, though. <laughs> Have you been to one? Yeah. Have you been to Waikiki? Yeah. ABC stores are weird because... Yeah, they're super weird. It's almost like a, like a Big Lots and a Walmart put together, but yeah. way worse. Way worse, because it's Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah. You could um, buy, you like, some, some shit straight some off the pallets. Some flaming balls yeah. could be, like, juggled and... Fuck. <laughs> you section. start seeing, like, like Samoan chants and shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you can uh, buy Samoan chants now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at an ABC store, you fucking can. It's a blessing. <laughs> they just sell you she cells. They're like, that's actually soap if you rub it on your body. That's why Hawaiians have the skin they do. Um, yeah, but the the real shining star of the movie is the all-knowing, omniscient fucking Jew Jeff Goldblum. It's like, um, well, um, like I was telling uh, Colonel Sanders, um, this is evolution. They were here before us. Mm-hmm. And if we're not careful, I... Uh, May disappear again for uh, <laughs> 20 years. No one will give a shit about it. <laughs> it's like, look, right. before I gave the speech, I came. I came before it. And if I'm not careful, I'll come after. Two things you need to understand. Um, I'm Jewish. So is Steve. Now, if you add that up, two Jews minus two foreskins. That's the equation for evolution. So, yeah. <laughs> Going on Jew hunting? <laughs> oh, God. 
Yeah, and it's just him like, oh, Jews cannot be contained and we will take your foreskin when we need to. Rah. Build a wall. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then they're like, the whoever, whatever fucking made up evil company that has to be led by, by, the, by the Monopoly man that's trying to buy raptors <laughs> as bodyguards, whatever the fuck oh, he's trying God. to do. Um, they're like, hey, don't you have like an odd relationship with those raptors and weren't you sitting courtside with that tech deck? <laughs> he's like, it's this. first off, this movie's not God's plan, it's a Jew's plan. So... You always plan. <laughs> you always plan. I want um, to save all my cash. <laughs> and apparently the whole... Like midsection, like what? We're talking about two minute trailers here. All right, we're yeah. extracting ten minutes of speak from a two minute trailer without sitting here watching it like those fags on YouTube. Oh yeah, that was sick. Bro. Oh man, yeah. hey, you see my gamer headphones? Like, you guys want to buy them? And they're just all sitting there. There's three of them, and then something happens. They're like, oh man. Hey, my friend in the background's fucking that hot pocket. Isn't that pure entertainment? It isn't like we have to get copyrighted by hot pockets. Right? It's like, I know we watched this trailer like four times before we filmed this, but we're going to have authentic reactions. Oh, God. That's well, frat YouTube right there. <laughs> um, apparently, it's just a minute of them escaping this uh, CGI volcano. And what we don't see is all the Hawaiians melting from the CGI. No, you didn't tell us, brother! He's like, quick, <laughs> jump in these coconuts, my, roll off the island. <laughs> my meth lab is in the mountains, brother. That's why I'm getting so high just standing here. Um, and, and again, again, another quiet scene is some fucking freak mix of a dinosaur. And they're so bored now that with the lack of the Jews, the lack of bag of tricks, that the cornerstone action part of the movie is, hey, no matter what, no matter how retarded this gets, the T-Rex comes out and eats something. <laughs> And that saves the day. Yeah, now, now it's getting so bored with the Jew's bag of tricks that he's doing it in the trailer. Right? He's like, the T-Rex is going to eat something. Something's going to jump out of the water and yeah. eat a dude on a helicopter. <laughs> it's going to be fucking insane At, at this point, the T-Rex is becoming Captain Planet when he shows up and tells all the minority kids to recycle. So right. cops don't fucking brutally beat them. And we can't forget they're going to introduce a new fucking dinosaur that God. looks exactly the same as every fucking other dinosaur oh, they've introduced. Or, or they get themselves trapped in that goddamn ball. Somehow they got oh, trapped yeah. in the ball in a giant island. Yeah, the one ball on the <laughs> island, they get trapped in it. And apparently they have, they have like some Lonzo Ball, Bruno Mars, butt baby retard. What the hell was that motherfucker? He was the ugliest looking motherfucker I've ever seen. He was if Childish Gambino wasn't good looking. <laughs> Uh, and that's when I got to trailer two, and that's Steve, Steven Spielberg's favorite thing in the world, which is like scaring a child with a scary monster. Yeah, just a slow sexual arousal. Like honestly, a minute of this trailer was just the fucking child looking at the dinosaur. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Yeah. And Steven Spielberg, once he sees that, once the girl screams, he comes on set, and Jeff Goldblum has to clean it, clean it up. He's like, <laughs> "Hey, Steve, you got your uh, evolution on the lens." Yeah. Steve, uh, oh, 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 that was pretty funny, Steve. Uh, do you think we should uh, clean it up before my scene? Steve? Steve? And a raptor can somehow get into a child's house because they're smart enough to break into fucking thumbprint doors and Xfinity home codes and shit. <laughs> right, like, this isn't the 90s, bro. It's not just a handle with a lock. And like, even if it was, if someone opened up your door to your house, and you, you're going to hear that shit if it's a fucking animal. <laughs> right? <laughs> And that ginger bitch is, like, doing a voiceover. She's like, do you remember the first time you seen a dinosaur? Like, it was fucking amazing. Even though in the first movie, like, they were making a goddamn Mecha Godzilla and I didn't even know anything about it. Right. It's like... Like, do you remember in the first movie, she was like, I had... Like, she was basically saying, dude, I have no... Fu I heard they took Chris Bosch, gave him some extra estrogen, and he became a female raptor. That's all I heard. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's like, do you remember the... <laughs> then he got blood clots and died. <laughs> do you remember the time Chris Bosch was a dinosaur? <laughs> The first time you saw him play. When he played for the Raptors, I thought he was a Raptor. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, I thought he was going to dunk with his toes. He just squawked. He was just going to, like, stick his toenail in the ball and dunk it. Oh, God. And then hang with his other foot off the rim and just keep putting the ball oh, in God. it. Was like, That'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be Space Jam scoring. That's what it would be. Can they have Dino Jam? <laughs> How the, what the hell did we just start talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, then you see Bruno Mars, Lonzo Ball, Orange Butt Baby. Screaming like the biggest faggot in the northern hemisphere. She's like, that's not a T-Rex, okay? One thing I fucking know is I can run through a whole island in my goddamn heels. Do you right. remember that in the first shit? She's like, you would think she could damn near done a tomahawk dunk in her heels. <laughs> How did she like, not get stuck in the mud ever? <laughs> Whatever. She's like, one thing I do know, Jeff Goldblum's a tan, cheap Jew, 
and that's not a T-Rex. <laughs> and then and they cut out, right? And then they show, like, the scumbag corporate white guy. He's like, huh, I'm going to make a profit that get eaten before I ever see it. Because <laughs> I'm unnecessarily close to the dinosaurs. Why the fuck am I here? Actually, this isn't a weapon. It's a sex toy. <laughs> I don't care if it bites my dick. <laughs> I want to be a girl. And the Asian guy's like, you know not what you do when you mix DNA. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you know Steven Spielberg is still stuck in his Jew ways of directing, because he's like, I'm going to have a normal Asian guy that was, like, normal in the beginning movies, and then I'm going to make him a villain because he's a Jap. It's like, hey, remember this guy? Probably not, but all right. <laughs> um, apparently they're selling dinosaurs as fucking guard dogs and sex slaves. He's like, yeah, it's it, the future it, it, of weaponry. <laughs> Just put them in a missile tube and launch them out there. Right? And it's the future of sex. <laughs> you ever had sex with a giant prehistoric lizard? The vaginas are huge. <laughs> I can make a profit off that. Um, it would be sick to see like a dinosaur fight and Michael Vick get caught up for like killing Stegosauruses. <laughs> all of his black friends smoking backwoods in Atlanta, doing evil shit. Come on, Vick. <laughs> you fight that, that dinosaur. That type of shit's only acceptable in Atlanta. Just like having gay sex with each other. And not talking about it. Then saying no homo after. You have gay sex and then you say no homo. <laughs> hey, no hey, homo, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, no homo. Don't put that dick in my ass. No homo. Hey, you came on my back. No homo. I said all the towel, bitch. Um, I, for some reason, my notes said they made it that he's the dinosaur, the dildo. So another dinosaur that got created. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> they made it that not he, dinosaur, the dildo. Maybe that blue is the dinosaur dildo to make other dinosaurs. They made it not he. Dinosaur the Dildo? <laughs> what the hell does that fucking Dinosaur actually Dinosaur the mean? Dildo sounds like the dopest band name ever, though. <laughs> I'm just going to say, whatever the hell we were just saying. Yeah, anyways, they made Dinosaur the Dildo, which is like the new monster <laughs> that they've they've created. Um, another dinosaur that they created, which she means a Jew's perspective, so it had to be cost effective. <laughs> we CGI'd like, him into the <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> Um, We're gonna yeah, it's, the most, it's the most dangerous dinosaur ever. It can audit you and then eat you later. <laughs> and then turn that into a quirky sitcom. Likes to save money. Has coupons. Takes a while at the store. Ugh. It annoys people. And like what started happening in Jurassic Park, apparently Chris Pratt just picked up this blue raptor and he's like, yeah, this is going to be my fucking dog. My I am legend dog now. He's like, hey, blue, come here, blue. Remember this penis? Yeah. Hey, you want a raptor versus these Jap engineered giant dinosaurs? Yeah, I'll take it every time. And I'll take my musket with me, too, for my bungalow. I only drive ATVs on town. I drove my ATV <laughs> on the fucking highway. I almost crashed. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> but I had my gun on me, so I got way home. He's like, wait, is this the movie where I fly the spaceship? <laughs> is this the one where I get really fat and I like have to date that chick that people think is hot, but she's like not, and then I'm going to pretend to be funny when I'm not either? It's and like, the show is just dry and boring. Is that my role again? It's like, wait. Are Fuck we that make, show. Are you going to make a show about building parks? <laughs> parks and Rec? I thought that was some Canadian shit at first. Like When I first saw it, I was like, I'm not watching a Canadian sitcom. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then trailer three, like, oh, let's see how fucking close we can get ourselves in even more impractical situations with a T-Rex and still live. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Jurassic Park. It's like, look, I'm going to uh, give this T-Rex a hug while it's asleep. Yeah. God, that was so fucking retarded. I that bet was you. so bad. And I imagine the reason they're in there to begin with, the yeah. cage with the T-Rex, is probably as dumb as them trying to get out of it. <laughs> He's like, man, if I was my normal weight, I probably would have died by now. He's like, don't worry, he's tranked, said everyone in every previous movie. <laughs> this is going to really test my diet, guys. Oh, look. This is my flip. cheat day. <laughs> his my cheat day is, CGI. <laughs> his cheat day is sucking a T-Rex's cock. The semen is high in calories. <sighs> oh. Yeah, but yeah, so the army's like, yeah, we need an asshole willing to live in a bungalow. <laughs> He'll help us. I'm your man. Like, why? Why? Because he trained one raptor. He's like, I did 30 crunches. I, I was trying to figure out the trailer, right? I mean, I assume it was like a humanitarian mission, right? Or like they masked it as this humanitarian mission while the, the fucking the, the Jew is twisting his mustache behind the My screen. Man. He's like, hey, can you mimic this bad guy? <laughs> and pretend to have a lot of money. Well, yeah, they were. Um, they, they, they wanted to save the raptor. And they're like, You're, you were his trainer. But in yeah. reality, they're just trying to breed the raptor. So they, they clap him. Okay. 
Well, they don't clap if they train them. I, I just want to understand, too. Why does Jurassic Park make the Monopoly men the bad guy when if it wasn't for that fucking Indian? I guess he's. I guess who cares about the quick stop tycoon, right? Because he died immediately in the last one. <laughs> it's like, I'll fly a helicopter. It's not a magic carpet. No. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> one thing popped off. I'm gone. <laughs> um. And apparently, while they're, like, doing their little montage of, like, bad white men, they're going to buy dinosaurs, they show that fucking dude from um, Captain America, the, the lupus deformed 300 <laughs> betrayed Leonidas-looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Like, they didn't even, he didn't even do or say anything. They're just like, shit's going wrong, kids may have been killed, let's show this guy's fucking face. It's going to make the trailer fucking like, pop yeah. out. No, it's funny, too, because they're showing it to old white... You know, like you said, they're old white businessmen. I have expected there to be, like, a southerner rubbing his nipples. Yeah. Like, I do declare, that is the fanciest dinosaur I have ever seen. Right? <laughs> oh, God. How many bars um, of gold can I trade for it right now? I couldn't tell if that dude was white in this movie, the 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 evil corporate guy. He's, like, European. Um, yeah. He seems European. like he should be, like, on the team of a bar rescue. Seems like you should be on. All right, sure, John Taffer. All right, throw cinnamon, brown sugar, and some Mexican sweat in with some bourbon. Your bar's gonna sell. I call this. I call this a sweaty immigrant. <laughs> sweaty immigrant. It's gonna save this bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Taffer! <laughs> Is that a- mold growing out of your goddamn ass? He doesn't mean the drink either. You know how many sweaty immigrants we gotta get in here to fix your bar overnight? <laughs> I went on Angie List and I found me 30 sweaty immigrants I could trust. This bar is called the Mexican. It's sponsored Jimmy. by sweaty immigrants. What's the guy? I got to a PO system a Mexican could understand. It's like, okay, all right. My idea is simple. We're going to serve drinks out of already used cans for different drinks. We're going to call it Hobo Hole. Have you heard my invention, the butt funnel? That means one guy walks face first, girl walks in with a skirt. You hit the DTF app, roof here, fuck her in the butt funnel. It's one of the greatest spaces ever. It really my, brings interaction back to Boz. My hair is balding into a yarmulke shape. Turns out clipping the yarmulke on your head does give you male pattern baldness. It's a science. It's a goddamn science. It's also easy to cover up your bald spot. I'm not actually a Jew. I'm John Taffin. I'm just fucking ugly and I have an annoying voice. I think I'm Italian. How are we going to fix this park? Jurassic is a good theme, but I'm thinking Hawaiian. You want a place where you can wear jeans and a vest with a t-shirt under it. That's what I have in every closet of every house I ever owned. <laughs> He's like, right. a blazer, a polo, and faded jeans. I also have some running shoes on. They're New Balance. I use this as the They're New fun. Balance because I always have a New Balance in my bank account. <laughs> I'm John Daffin. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about these stutter? Bottles and cans. What do you think about that? They only eat canned food. They only drink shit out of bottles and they can't afford spirits. <laughs> we saw hobo wine and trash. Let's give them a toilet fountain. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, what the hell are we? Oh yeah, that's when the 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 corporate guy is like, "Hey, you know what a hired predator's worth? Because I'm a goddamn predator, and I'm hired a lot of children. Oh, people <laughs> hire me to rape their children. You didn't think there was a business for that? There is. No, I made um, a boy love app about thirty years ago. I've been reaping the benefits ever since. Yeah, and like Chris Pratt's trying to have sex with his rapper because he's like, "Hey, girl, you thinking what I'm thinking? My dick hadn't been wet since that ginger gave me fucking post traumatic stress sex. Oh God." Um, yeah, and then that's when you just see, uh, <laughs> that's when you see Jeff Goldblum just, like, you know, being a fucking Jew again on the on the stand, saying mm-hmm. Jew advice. And you're like, why are you saying this <laughs> on the stand in a fucking court? It's like, oh, genetic power has been unleashed, it's like, and uh, you can't put it back in the camps. And apparently, the Lake Placid dinosaur is back. Yeah, because he's a big just fucking ch- giant alligator. Like, fuck surfers, man. Just jumps and eats fucking uh. a helicopter. Yeah. Meanwhile, Joel, Jeff Goldblum was like, us Jews were the only creatures left in the world. He's like, ha ha. They're back. Um, <laughs> he's like, look, it's a deposition. I get it. I'm here to speak. I haven't been to that park in 30 years. 
And that's Jurassic World. <laughs> and I have no predictions for it, because I don't give a fuck. It, the prediction I hope Chris is Pratt the... gets fat again. That's what I'm predicting. The, the um, exact prediction is the trailer. Because <laughs> they showed you the movie. 